Awesome. All right, knowledge of her husband. Actually, can I view my notebook right now? Come on, detective. I was talking. Well, don't worry. We'll do it in a second. Oh, shit. I think I have five intuition points. I don't think I can have any more than five. Okay, so intuition. Each costs one intuition point. I just want to see what they, they're about. Remove an answer. You can remove an answer. You can ask the community. You can show all clues. Okay, so it's mostly it's mostly an interrogation part that I have the problem with. I was just making sure that all I have was five. So let's go ahead and back and talk to him. My bad. Knowledge of her uh, husband. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. I'm gonna say he's telling the truth. He's looking directly at us on this one. Was he ever shit. violent with her? Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Shit, we got that one wrong. He looked he was looking straight at us. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union. Look at this guy has it memorized. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Oh, because they had to send her home in cabs. Alright, so hey, where's the phone at? Operator? the hell's the phone? Oh, we're not even in the right area. It's over here. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. How do we use the phone again? What now? You got her address? You gotta try to find next to Tim somewhere. Let's go. I doubt it. Okay, we need to use the phone, ma'am. I can check your code or book you a table. Maybe you want to talk to the owner, mister. He's in the back somewhere. Oh, we, this, these are the phones to, to use. My bad. I'll show you the phone without paying. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks, ma'am. All right. What is this? Looks like, cig oh, cigarettes and vending machines. How old school is that? That you could go to a vending machine and buy cigarettes. That, that's something you don't see anymore. I, I kind of wish I lived during some of these times. It would have been very interesting. All right. Oh, well. Anyways, let's go and... Uh, I don't know where we're going now. To her house. Henry Residence. Residential address of murder victim, Celine Henry. I can't believe I got that last one wrong. Like, I thought he was lying. But what he was saying was like... It seemed the truth, you though. Find the booze helps you get through a working day. Sharp as my investigatory instincts, fellas. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of helps. No, you picked the wrong job of a healthy first offender. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detective, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politics. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze and the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short be alive, the chap would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crime. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Uh, fuck you, you're drinking on the job. Folks has all the right to say that. What an asshole cop. Pikowski should be up here with me, not this bad asshole.
Maybe we should let him drive too. <laughs> I bet it wouldn't affect anything, but that'd be funny. He's like, I can't drive, I'm too much to drink or some shit. I don't know. We're flying, we're getting some air. People better move out my way. I'm getting good at driving, I don't care what anyone says. So here's where she lives, all the way over here. Oh shit, there's the mailbox, it's a felony. Henry Residence, 10.31 a.m. Probably could have drove slowly there. There's no rush, really, I don't think. Is anyone home? The guy, the dad, the husband. Jeez, what am I saying? The guy, the dad, the husband. Yeah, the husband should be home. Wait here a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get your guns out. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. All right, well, at least we can investigate it. We got some water water goggles. Nope. This guy likes to swim. That, what do you mean nope? We can use that. We know that guy's a swimmer. Actually, those could be anything. Those could be for like bikes or like if you had a motorcycle or whatever. I'm not sure if they had those back then or not. I haven't seen a motorcycle yet. And we are in LA, so we have a key to the house. I don't think so. Nope. No, I don't even know if it's to the house. It could be to a car. It could be to anything. I'm just guessing it would be to the house. Uh, uh, what's going on? Tons of... This place is a mess. Oh, we have the shoe. Oh. What is that on the back? Size nines. Above average for a lady. It is above average. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm getting caught on some things. There's a newspaper. Can I read it? About that doctor that we saw that one episode a while ago. So now we are in the kitchen. Ooh, we got some plates. They have spaghetti last night or something? Oh, that looks like blood on the plate. I guess it wasn't blood, or else we would have investigated it further. We have the broken window. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? I think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty-dollar suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. Thirty-dollar suit. Oh boy. Uh, I I can't I can't say anything to that because that was probably expensive back then. Um, we have a note. I love you sober. Selena and Jacob are obviously having problems. You can find me at apartment something, Jacob. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. Oh, shut up. I don't like this guy that we're working with. So I think we pretty much looked everywhere. I just want to check the bedroom real fast and then we will be done with this one. Optimistic Cole. Oops, sorry. I'm adding to the mess. Oh. Something just dinged. Can I not look at that? Oh, is it really this? I thought it was going to be the shoe. So we got a picture. Let's look at the picture real fast. The regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. Ooh, the ring does. There's the ring gone. Tiffany, 
rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Here we have a brush. Do we really need to look at it? Sure, let's look at it. I don't think this is anything. All right, that is. The music is still going on, so we didn't find everything that we need to in the house. But we'll continue looking um, later. Uh, for now, I am going to end it, and when we come back, uh, yeah, when we come back, we will continue searching the house and talk to the neighbors. So I'll see you guys next time.